The Albanian Armed Forces, established after the Declaration of Independence in 1912, serve as the official army of Albania. Okay, cool, but just how strong are they? What are the most powerful military vehicles in their arsenal? And can they make a significant impact on the battlefield? Well, today we'll answer all these questions by diving into the top 10 most powerful military vehicles of the Albanian Armed Forces. In this list, we'll focus solely on land vehicles, saving warships and aircraft for future content. And now let's dive deep into the world of military technology, starting with the first vehicle on our list. Number 10. TMAX Shota MRAP The TMAX Shota is a highly durable military vehicle designed to protect its occupants in the most challenging environments. It's armored with 9mm Armox Advanced Steel, offering BR-7 protection, capable of withstanding 7.62 39mm API BZ rounds fired from 30 meters away. The 56mm thick ballistic glass adds to the vehicle's defense, while additional armor can be installed for even greater safety. Its V-shaped hull is a key design element, effectively reducing the impact of explosions. Inside, the Shota prioritizes crew safety and comfort. It features ergonomic seats with four-point safety harnesses that include quick-release mechanisms, and both the driver and commander seats are equipped with blast mitigation units and adjustable features. Even the crew seats are designed with safety in mind, offering lateral support and headrests. Externally, the Shada is built for toughness, with heavy-duty handles, reinforced door hinges, and robust bumpers. Number 9. Tatra T813 The T8 Roman 13, produced in Czechoslovakia from 1967 to 1982, is a versatile and robust truck known for its military and civilian applications. The most iconic version is the 8 Radar 8 Kolos, a military powerhouse capable of towing trailers weighing up to 100 tons. Tatra also offered civilian models in 6 Family Rig 6 and 4F44 configurations. Over 15 years of production, 11,151 units were built, with many exported to the USSR, East Germany, Romania, and India. The TA-13's standout feature is its tubular backbone construction, which provides exceptional torsional and bending stiffness, protecting the vehicle from the stresses of heavy loads. This design also houses key drivetrain components and allows for modular construction, enabling various axle configurations and wheelbase options. The T8013 uses a cab over engine design, wide profile super single tires, and a central tire inflation deflation system, making it adaptable and reliable for diverse terrains and purposes. Number 8. M224 Max Pro MRF. The International M224 Max Pro. Mine resistant ambush protected is an armored vehicle designed by Navistar Defense, a subsidiary of Navistar International, in collaboration with Israeli company Plasen Sasa, which provides the vehicle's armor. Created for the U.S. military's MRAP program, led by the U.S. Marine Corps and the U.S. Army, the Max Pro is built to protect against mines and ambushes. The Max Pro comes in two main categories, Category 1, for general use, and Category 2, which offers more space in the passenger compartment. Most Max Pros sold are Category 1 models. The Max Pro Plus variant features dual rear wheels for better load capacity, making it suitable for roles like ambulances or enhanced fragmentation protection variants. Number 7. Iveco ACM 8090 The ACM 8090, also known as the Fiat 63G, is a military truck developed by Iveco in the 1990s to meet the needs of the Italian Army. Known for its robustness and adaptability to rough terrains, the ACM 8090 was designed to transport both materials and personnel. Despite its capabilities, the vehicle was not fully utilized by the Italian military and is currently being phased out soon to be replaced by the ACTL. One of the key features of the ACM 8090 is its ability to engage all-wheel drive, even while the vehicle is in motion, making it highly versatile in challenging environments. The truck measures 21 feet in length, 7.4 feet in width, and 10.1 feet in height, 
with a weight of about 10,300 pounds. It is powered by a 5.8 liter engine, producing either 160 or 170 horsepower, depending on the model. Number six, Humvee. The high mobility, multi-purpose wheeled vehicle, commonly known as the Humvee, is a versatile military truck produced by AM General. It was designed to replace various older vehicles like the original Jeep, the Vietnam era M151, and the M561 Gamma Goat. The Humvee is primarily used by the US military, but has also been adopted by numerous other countries and organizations, with some civilian versions also produced. The Humvee gained significant attention during the Gulf War in 1991, where its ability to traverse desert terrain highlighted its utility. However, its original unarmored design proved vulnerable, especially to improvised explosive devices during the Iraq War. In response, the U.S. military quickly uparmored some models to improve protection, though these were eventually supplemented by more heavily armored MRAP vehicles for frontline duties. Number 5. M163 VADS The M163 Vulcan Air Defense System is a self-propelled anti-aircraft gun used primarily by the U.S. Army. Officially designated as the M163, it was designed to provide short-range air defense for ground units against low-flying aircraft and helicopters. It replaced the earlier M42 Duster as the standard American Armored Light Air Defense Gun. The M163 VADS is equipped with the M168 gun, a variant of the M61A1 rotary cannon that is commonly used in U.S. combat aircraft. This 20mm gun is mounted on a modified M103A1 vehicle, known as the M7 and 41 carrier. Although the M163 was designed to work in tandem with the M48 Chaparral missile system, it is limited to fair weather operations. The vehicle includes a small AN-VPS-2 radar for range finding and an M61 optical lead calculating site. It also supports night operations when equipped with AN-PVS series night vision sites. Number 4. Type 69 The Type 69 and Type 79 are Chinese first-generation main battle tanks developed from the Type 59 which itself was a locally produced variant of the Soviet T-54A. These tanks, designed during the late 1960s and early 1970s, were China's first indigenously developed main battle tanks. The Type 69 and 79 are classified as medium tanks, reflecting their developmental lineage and capabilities. The Type 69 features improvements over the earlier Type 59, including a more powerful engine, ballistic computers, and laser rangefinders. The Type 79, a more advanced version, is notable for its 100mm rifle gun, similar to that used in the Type 80 tank, enhancing its firepower significantly. With a combat weight of around 36.7 tons, the Type 69 and 79 have a length of 20.5 feet, a width of 10.8 feet, and a height of 9.2 feet. Number 3. BMP-2 the BMP-2, or Boyavaya Machina Pakoti, is a Soviet-designed amphibious infantry fighting vehicle introduced in the 1980s as an upgrade to the BMP-1 from the 1960s. While retaining the general layout of its predecessor, the BMP-2 features several significant improvements. One of the major updates is the enlarged turret, which now accommodates both the commander and the gunner. The armament was upgraded to include a 30mm 2A42 autocannon, providing enhanced firepower, and a 9P1 Strive Menem ATGM launcher capable of firing a range of Sacklow's guided anti-tank missiles such as the 9M111 Faggot, 9M113 Conkers, and 9M113M Conkers M. The BMP-2 has a reduced troop capacity, carrying 7 infantry instead of the BMP-1's 8, and features 2 rear roof hatches rather than 4. Its armor was also slightly improved to offer better protection. Overall, these modifications made the BMP-2 a more capable and versatile fighting vehicle for Soviet and Allied forces. Number 2. BTR-50 The BTR-50 is a Soviet-tracked amphibious armored personnel carrier developed in 1952 and introduced into service in 1954. Based on the PT-76 light tank chassis, 
It was designed to transport up to 20 fully equipped infantrymen. The BTR-50 features a flat, boat-shaped hull similar to the PT-76, but with a new superstructure added to the front. The APC's hull is made of all-welded steel and is divided into three sections. The crew compartment at the front, the troop compartment in the center, and the engine compartment at the rear. Infantry access is via climbing over the sides, with seating provided on benches running the full width of the troop compartment. The BTR-50 can be equipped with various armaments, including a 7.62 mm SGMB medium machine gun or a 14.5 mm KPV heavy machine gun. It has seen service in several conflicts, including the Six-Day War, the Yom Kippur War, and the Russo-Ukrainian War. Number 1. M113 The M113 is a fully tracked armored personnel carrier developed by FMC Corporation. Introduced in 1961 to replace the M59 APCs in the U.S. Army, it was first deployed in combat in April 1962 with the South Vietnamese Army under the Military Assistance Command, a Vietnam program. The M113 became the most widely used armored vehicle of the U.S. Army during the Vietnam War, known for its effectiveness in penetrating dense jungle terrain to engage enemy positions. It was commonly referred to as an APC or ACAV by Allied forces. The M113 was notable for being the first mass-produced armored vehicle with an aluminum hull, which made it lighter than its predecessors while still providing protection against small arms fire. As we conclude our exploration of the most powerful military vehicles of the Albanian army, we hope you've been inspired by the strength of these impressive machines. Which one impressed you the most? Let us know in the comment below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay safe and always stay curious.